Hello again. I have been watching a video of Angela Rayner, who is the Deputy Leader of the Labour Party and likely to hold high office in the next administration. She is speaking to a room full of Muslims with the aim of getting them to vote Labour. Two things struck me about the clip of film, to which I give a link in the description to this video. The first is that although this is a Labour politician in the run-up to a general election in Britain and she is canvassing for her party, she says nothing whatsoever about Britain. No mention of the National Health Service, nothing about taxes, education, the economy, immigration, not a word in fact about anything to do with this country or any of the subjects which ordinary people care about. She talks only about the situation in a foreign country, thousands of miles away. Why? That's simple. It is because the audience, all those Muslim men listening to her, have no interest at all in hearing about anything to do with this country. They are only concerned with a Muslim territory in Asia. That is shocking, although not altogether surprising. The other thing which is also shocking is this. Have any viewers been following all the fuss about London's Garrick Club because they haven't been allowing women to become members since they were founded, I don't know how many centuries ago. There's been a good deal about this in the papers, and the general feeling among left-wing and progressive folks is that in this day and age it really is a bit much there are still clubs in this country from which women are excluded. Now have a look at the audience to which Angela Rayner is speaking. It is clearly a club from which women are excluded. We know that Rayner is a red-hot feminist and bitterly opposed to all male institutions because she has said so often enough. Do you think that when she fetched up at that room full of Muslim men, she complained that no women were present and started going on about how awful that was in the 21st century? Do you think she even mentioned it? No, of course she didn't. She was too busy sucking up to those guys and going on about how, how, how pro-Palestinian she is to give a thought to the hideous sexism which she was condoning. What monstrous hypocrisy, what a dreadful woman.